Mike, if I'm the mother that gave birth to you, I double dare you. You go pack my things and throw them out. Push me out. And you will see the other side of me. I love you. I love you as my wife. I love our kids. Love Please. is not enough. I want commitment. I want respect. I want peace. I don't feel I can get that. You are not the man I want. Please, Just I let go you. of me. Just leave me. Mama, yeah. Mama, I have had enough. I have had enough of all of this rubbish that is happening in this house. Today, you're living, the three of you are living in this house today. Uh, the three of you. Baby, What's the meaning of this? I try to. You, you Mike, know. are you drunk? Who do you think you are talking to? My dear, don't be afraid. Don't listen to the voice, the voice of the confused man. What is wrong with you? You are threatening everybody. I was the one who asked her not to touch Jenny. How could she have gone to enjoy herself with her lover? And she came back. You expect us to be the one cleaning up all her rubbish? Mama. You must be dreaming. Mama, Mama, I, I cannot tolerate you and this lady anymore. You are leaving my house today. Today, Mama, the both of you are leaving this house. Now I know that you are a bloody fool. Instead of you to enjoy what God has given to you, you are still fooling yourself. Maureen, don't listen to the voice of a confused man. It's only blabbing. Mike, if I'm the mother that gave birth to you, I double dare you. You go pack my things and throw them out. Push me out. And you will see the other side of me. What aren't rubbish? You are so blessed with this beautiful lady with everything well packaged. Instead of you to take care of her without dis distraction, enjoy her fully. You are there talking about Jenny, Jenny, I will not listen to anything. Mama. Are you sick upstairs? I have said my part. I have said my part Do your and I will not repeat myself again. Do the both of you will leave this house. What if my wife had died? No, no, no. What if Jenny had died? Is this what you'll be telling me? Is this what you'll be telling me, Mama? Mike, if she dies, that would be a perfect one. In actual fact, it would be a prayer and sad for me. Then you will take over her sister and enjoy her fully without distractions. Mama, can you hear yourself? That if my wife had died, that would be a perfect one. For yes, you. I will. And think about who go. This my thing. Friend. This thing, Mama. Do I blame you? The woman that is carrying your son, my grandson, is what you are calling this thing. I know there's something wrong with you. Now you sound like I'm a blood sucking so demon, Mama. And this your behavior, it disgusts me. The both of you will leave this house today. I don't care how you do it. But you pack your stuff. Better start packing your things, Mama. Better start packing your things. You pack them. I should pack them. Now. I should pack them. No problem. You need to be responsible goats. Come and pack them. I double dare you. Try it. Mama. A fool. Mama. Are you sure he's all right? Cool down, my dear. Cool down. He can't do anything. He can't do anything. I don't want to leave the house. Or... I'm not going anywhere. She will be the one to leave, and she will leave. <laughs> Except if I am not who I am, she will leave this house. Mama, I still don't wish her dead now. Yes, She's yes. still my sister. But yes, I know that I've done so many things to offend you. I've put you in so much pain. So much pain that sometimes uh, I don't even deserve forgiveness. I know. But sometimes I just... I have these thoughts that we could just go somewhere, build our own world, Please. just the boat. You, me, our children, without Mama, your sister, or my brother. <laughs> Then they play long. Ma, can you please leave my room? Can the both of you leave my room? <laughs> Yeah. 
That's why I just imagined that world. That world there to just be you and I. And you and I alone. Just leave please, me alone. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Please, Michael, please. leave me. Please, don't, please, don't leave me this time. I beg you. I beg you, please. Please, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I've been telling you this thing, that this hospital you're going for until after it's too far and it's too stressful for us. If you, you don't want to drive me to my hospital, let me Kukuma take a ride. Eh? You can't be telling me where to choose for my baby now. You will not decide where you go for this antenatal anymore because I am paying for everything. Do you understand that? You can't tell me where to secure my child. Can we just go already? You're late for work and we are also late for antenatal. <sighs> Who's all this argument this morning? Instead of him to buy a car for us, you just allow us to suffer like this, eh? You're rich enough to buy cars for your wives, even you your, your mother! Shut your mouth. Go and tell your father to buy you a car. Excuse me. Hey. That's my late father you're talking about. Don't, 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 don't. No, I'm sorry. I'm honestly sorry. Please, forgive me. Can we go? Can we just go? Entering this county, you apologize to me for insulting my dad. I'm not going to apologize to you. Babe, you have to apologize to her. I'm not going to do that. Please. Sometimes you have to say sorry. Even though you're not sorry about what you said, just is the situation, is the tension in the air. What's all this? Say sorry. Be the bigger person. Can we please go? I am running late for work. Can we please go? <laughs> that doctor is so crazy. I I'm mean, telling you. I, I, I mean, is he, how can he be saying that we should be having sex with you every time and every. No, come on now. Like, no. Immediately he said it, that you have to have sex with your wife every time so that her body will build up. I was just like this man. <laughs> <laughs> I've you. never seen that kind of doctor in my life before. It's too raw. Very, come very on. raw, babe. Oh, like, no, ah, no. no, but I, I like him though. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so we are home now. Yeah, I can see that. You can see we are home. Um, get down from the car. You heard what the doctor said. My husband has to perform his conjugal duties. <laughs> <laughs> and he is also my husband, so I am not leaving this car. You're not coming down from the car. Hmm? You don't want to come down. I'm okay. right here. All right, honey. Babe, calm down. Calm down. Just come down from the car. Okay. Hey She'll be hot inside. Please. I don't care. She'll I be asked hot her to come down. She didn't want to come down. So let her stay there. Mm -mm. That's not fair. That's not fair. Let me have the key. What she's doing is different. Let me have the key. Did she just lock me in? Did she just lock me in? She's not going to get away from that. 